I'm going to have you hold up your arms, uh, Mrs. Johnson, like this, with your palms in the air and spread your fingers out. And go ahead and close your eyes. Now go ahead and touch your nose uh, with your eyes closed there. Good. And now uh, uh, do it with your other hand. I saw Mrs. Johnson um, with our telemedicine robot um, in the emergency room in Tuolity from uh, our uh, hospital unit here. I was called by the referring neurologist at Tuolity, Dr. Hills. Um, she evaluated the patient and saw that she had symptoms consistent with a right middle cerebral artery stroke. But unfortunately, she couldn't give the IV clot buster that we can give uh, if a patient comes in within uh, three hours or so um, because the patient has had a history of hemorrhage in their brain at some point in their life. And so that's an exclusion for that. So uh, she knew the only option uh, at this point for acute therapy for Mrs. Johnson was um, to mechanically remove the blood clot with a stent retriever. So she contacted us. When I got on the edge of the chair to raise myself, I just slid down onto the floor. And then I had to work like everything to get myself turned around so I could get up. And I managed to get up, and by that time, uh, Bob had called uh, one of the uh, neighbors, and she came in and she said, we're gonna call 911, and that's what they did. Time is very important in stroke. Um, every minute that a patient has a stroke, that's one million brain cells that are estimated to die. And so the sooner at which a patient can be seen by a physician and treated for their acute stroke, the more likely they'll have a better outcome after their stroke. And so every minute counts. So being able to see a patient instantly by turning on your computer and logging into the internet essentially uh, has greatly improved these times. I, I feel good. I don't have any dizziness. I don't have any weakness that I know of. And my husband's bedfast, and I'm still taking care of him. So we're, we're getting along real well.